Alright, so in this video I'll be utilizing Onshape to develop the phone stand project. I've got Onshape already opened up. I'm going to click Create, Document, and label it Phone Stand. Okay. I'm going to click Sketch. Right, again, you have three planes. I generally click on this one. It gives us that sketch box. On the left hand side I'll click these eyes. Leave origin on and leave our sketch on. Go to my front view. Um, this object is pretty simple. Uh, it's a rectangle with a cutout here and then a circle on the left hand side. So I'm going to start by creating a line that goes down right here that goes down one inch. So line tool I'm right here going down. Type in one, hit enter. Then it goes to the left it goes to the left 2.5. I'm not going to worry about this fillet here, this rounded corner. I'll do that in the 3D side. Then it goes up. Goes up one inch. Back to the right. Right? There is no dimension there, but I know a few other dimensions. Right? If I pull up my calculator, my overall dimension is 2.5. I'm going to subtract this 0.25 and I'm going to subtract this 0.35. 1.9. This distance here, right here, is 1.9. Then it goes down. I look on this. Um, there is, again, no dimension, but I know that this is 0.25. So simple math tells me that this is going down. 0.75. It goes to the right. 0.35. Zoom in a little bit here. Move some of these dimensions out of the way. And it goes back up my 0.75 and back to my start. Alright, so that gives me my bound object. Now what I'm going to do is enter that circle. I've got a circle located over here. The size of that circle is 0.25. The distance then from the top line to the center is 0.5. So I click dimension, top line to center, 0.5. And then from my left side to my center is 0.25. I can hit my finish sketch. I'm going to go to my isometric view. I'm going to click on extrude. Click on my object. All right, my object thickness is right here, 0.25. Alright, so that's our basic shape. If I look on this blueprint though, it says radius 0.13, fill it all edges. So these four edges according to the blueprint. We have a tool up here. If I hover over it, it says fill it. I can type in the length, the size that I want. In this case, it is 0.13. And I'll simply come down and click on the edges that I want filled in. Sure I grab all four of those edges, hit my green check, um, and there's my part. Now with this part, because it's going to be 3D printed, uh, students will be customizing it by adding their name or initials or something on the front here. To do that, I'm going to add a new sketch to my front. We have a tool, you're certainly welcome to use a line tool to draw out whatever you'd like, um, but it is easiest to add names by using our text tool. Right, so I clicked on that text tool, I drew a text box, and I'm going to put in what I want it to say. In this case, I'm just having to say tech. Um, I'm going to make it bold. I'm more than welcome to go through here 
and identify a font that I like. Something simple. Alright, you can see that this is a little bit big. Uh, what I can do is I can drag my object to where I'd like it to be. To modify this, what I'm going to do is lock in one point. All right, so up across the top, I have this tool called Fix. That'll lock in one point. I'm going to lock in this point. All right, you notice these lines are now black. If I hit my Escape key, or I right click Escape Create Fix Constraint, I can grab now this point and I can resize whatever shape I'd like. So that looks like good shape. I'm now going to come down here, hover over this point where I see that fixed constraint. If I right click on it, I can remove or delete that sketch entity, that fixed constraint. Now I can move, by grabbing those points, I can move and center my part. Once I have it where I'd like, I'm going to hit finish sketch. Again, I go to my isometric, I go to extrude, and it's up to you if you want to add or remove Right? It's up to you if you want to add material or remove material. Regardless, we're going by 0 0.05. Right? Just a small amount so that it extrudes out. Or you can click on remove and cut it into your object. It's your decision. Uh, in this case, I'm going to leave it cut in. I'll hit my green check. And there it is. Cut out of my phone stand. All right, again, with this object, as well as any other assignment, we're going to click on Share. You're going to type in my name here, and be sure to share this project with me so that we can 3D print it. Thank you.